Okay guys, I got a lot on my mind here and I want to squash a lot of this negativity, especially what's going on with the Star Wars community. Let's talk about the Book of Boba Fett next. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Rewind, Relive and Review. I'm Rick. This is the show where I talk about movies, music and television. And if you've been keeping up with the content on this channel as far as the Book of Boba Fett has been concerned, I've usually had just a short blurb each week on each week's episode. But today, I'm just going to quickly run through the finale and I want to talk about something else that's bothering me. I'm doing episode 7, which is the season finale of the Book of Boba Fett. But this one's going to be really short because what I want to get to is the overall reception from Star Wars fans across the board. Now, this reception doesn't speak for everybody, but I'm hearing a lot of it and I want to address it too. First things first, let's go over the finale episode 7. Basically, in a nutshell, just what we thought was going to happen, happened. Boba got everyone together to make their final stand. They were able to defeat the Pike Syndicate. And we got Grogu back. So we know, in Season 3 of The Mandalorian, our favorite duo is back together again. So now, Boba has complete control of Moss Eisley, Moss Espa, and Moss Pelgo. Uh, excuse me, Freetown. But we did get that sweet bonus scene because I know when they were talking about Cad Bane gunning down Cobb Vanth in cold blood, I said to myself, wait, I thought it was just a shoulder shot. And they had me there. But we get that sweet bonus scene at the end. That post credit scene that shows Timothy Oliphant's character, Cobb Vanth, is in the Bacta tank. So, we got a couple different possibilities. We could get a season two of Boba Fett with Cobb Vanth. We could get a Cobb Vanth spinoff. Or, they just leave it where it is and we know that Cobb is still alive. Alright, like I said, that was the quick and dirty. Now let's get to the main reason why it's taken me an entire week to talk about this episode and this series in general. Okay, so first things first. Did I like it? Yeah, I did. And there's a lot of us who do like it. Um, so I speak for them when I say that, was it flawed? Yes, it was. But what TV show, what movie isn't flawed? All the diehard Star Wars fans out there, if you really think about it, your favorite movie still has flaws. Would there have been some things that I would have done differently? Yeah, you bet. But did I overall enjoy watching this? Yes. Uh, a lot of people said there wasn't enough action. Uh, a lot of people said there wasn't enough this, there was too much that. I agree with some of that. And I disagree with a lot of it because, again, it's not our TV show. We're the watchers, not the creators. Everybody's going to have a different take on it. Everybody's going to do something differently. But for the overall entertainment value, I enjoyed it. Guys, it was supposed to go exactly the way it was scripted. Don't look at these things with too critical of an eye. You'll drive yourself crazy. I know it started off a little too slow for a lot of people, but if you've listened to this channel in particular and some others, you knew that it was building to something. Any story that's told and told correctly builds. And this is called the Book of Boba Fett. So you have to deal with some past issues to get to the current issues. And the flashbacks and the slow build, that's what was required. 
But Rick, we had two episodes that didn't even have Boba Fett. Anybody who's read books, and I'm assuming that my audience reads books, or at least has read some in the past, not every chapter of every book has the main character in it. Let me stress that again. Not every chapter of every book has the main character in it. Sometimes you deviate to someplace else just so that you can move the story along, just so that you can understand what's going on. Because had the Mandalorian just appeared on Tatooine, you'd be like, well, where has he been? What's he doing? They've told you this, and they needed a separate episode in order to tell you that. So look at it as a bonus. That's a win, not a loss. The fighting was just so-so. I expected Boba Fett to do more. What all do you want this guy to do? Really, what all do you want this guy to do? I have no problem with the fighting. There was some fight choreography from a particular character that I questioned. Do we need to do a ballerina spin before we shoot somebody? Eh, probably not. That didn't take me out of the story though. That didn't take me away from what they were trying to do. And once again, before I close it down, was I pleased? Yes, I was. Would I have done anything differently? Probably so. That's why I get into movies. That's why I write and direct. And my movies will be mine. Their movies will be theirs. And TV shows. And we've got to learn to look at things for what they are, not what we want them to be. All right, guys, I'm going to get off my soapbox. That's enough of that. We all have our own opinions. We all have what we want in our minds. That's true. There's no changing that. You either like it or you don't. I am in no way, shape, or form here to tell you, you have to like this. You have to like that. No. I want you to be the judge for yourself. I just want you to look at it from all angles all right that's enough of that i got other content coming good content i hope you like it hit the like button on this video if you got any value out of it share subscribe hit the bell for notifications that way you never miss an episode and leave me a comment let me know exactly what you think about the book of boba fett and let me know what is your favorite character from the show and what you didn't like about it all right guys i'm gonna get out of here stay positive stay blessed i'll see you again soon